So without further ado, here's a fellow cast member and a big force in the Hollywood entertainment community. You know him from stage productions of Hairspray and TV's Hollywood Squares. It's built, <laughs> sorry, Bruce Villach. <laughs> <laughs> Valanche, but that's okay. Um, that's all right. I'm not usually allowed this close to an elementary school. <laughs> I thought maybe this was a Dateline special that I was walking into. <laughs> oh, I kid because you can't pronounce my name, so I just kid right back. Uh, I'm, <laughs> I, I'm very excited to be a big force. <laughs> she's so embarrassed. She's coughing into her card. <laughs> well, this is, uh, I'm very, uh, it's wonderful to be here. I've just uh, been released from my uh, gay polygamy sect in Texas <laughs> where I married hundreds of men. I only recommend it. We adopted thousands of gabies. There are no, in fact, there are no children left in Guatemala. I just want you to know. If you go there, it's very quiet. There's no crying, no skateboards, nothing. It's just, it's very, very quiet because we've adopted them all. But I, I'm uh, really delighted to be here. And of course, I'm delighted to be in True Love and to be a part of this, uh, of the gay, lesbian, uh, bisexual, transgendered, questioning, uh, I don't know, I had a few cocktails last night. Does that make me gay? Uh, I'm a girl, I like cars. <laughs> I'm a guy, I watch Project Runway, community. Because I know that we're all part of this, the same thing together. And uh, um, I know that we're all working towards the same goal. When I was, uh, people often ask me how I got into the comedy business. And uh, I usually say, well, I discovered when I was a kid that if you were funny, that gave you a chance to run. <laughs> which I needed a lot when I was a kid. Because, uh, because I was the kid who was different, you know. I was the kid who was fat. And then, like, then when I got older, I was a kid who was fat and gay. And, then, and I was always a kid who was Jewish. So I had so many peop reasons people were chasing me. Because <laughs> I grew up in New Jersey. <laughs> and uh, little did I know they were chasing me and that was a way for me to run out. Had I known that sooner, I would have gotten out of there faster. But when I was a kid, I was, I was uh, you know, victimized a lot and I had to figure out uh, defenses. And I think there was, no, there was no program in place to help anybody uh, like me, who was constantly being picked on. And the only way I finally got, uh, stopped being picked on was I got bigger than all of them. <laughs> and, and even though I was a, still a, a larger target, uh, I was threatening. So, uh, I, but I don't think that's the way to do it. I don't think that that's the way to fight back by threatening back. That's not what we are on the planet for, to fight each other. So I think that a program like this that uh, teaches all of us, that teaches kids in school what it's like to be different and uh, teaches everybody else what the other person is like and uh, eliminates or, or tries to eliminate bullying, which is uh, um, I think the single biggest thing that, a gay, that gay kids have to face is bullying, other than parents who don't understand them. Th it's a world that doesn't understand them and I think if the parents aren't going to step up and parents are often very scared. I think that it's up to us in schools, up to you guys in schools to do it, and so I'm glad you're doing it. I'm explaining it very badly. The man who was going to come up next uh, was around 20 years ago when the Gay Straight Alliance first started. He is the director of the Gay Lesbian Straight Education Network, which is GLSEN for short. How gay is that? <laughs> Isn't that, that's Larry Craig's nickname, GLSEN. <laughs> Uh, throw back. <laughs> uh, and he, uh, uh, he's, of course, been part of the True Love Project. It's a great thing when a movie can help change people's minds. Um, one of the reasons that I'm in show business and one of the reasons that I came out when I did, which was at the very beginning, was because uh, I didn't want to live a life invisible. I didn't want to live less uh, authentic a life than I possibly could. And so I decided when I was... Uh, when I just started in the business that I was, I was going to be the guy who if they made fun of, I would turn around and say, you know, you are making fun of me. When you do a fag joke, you're talking about me personally, and I'm in your face. It's very easy to hate somebody in the abstract. It's very difficult to hate them when they are face to face with you and you realize how adorable they really are. 